most important thing first off is just focusing on execution and getting things done. Uh, there is, in the startup world, as just in the larger business community, there's lots of talking and strategizing and over-intellectualizing the process. And at Three Day Startup, what we found along the way is that the most valuable thing, most of the time, is just taking action. Three Day Startup is an entrepreneurship education program for university students. It's based on learning by doing. A lot of schools across the country, the way they teach entrepreneurship is taking tests and writing papers. And we figured that there's probably a better way to do this, one that's going to be uh, more instructive and just have better results. Um, again, the learning by doing model is all about actually starting companies. So our program, during one weekend, students are actually starting companies, whether they know how to or not. You can start a company in three days. I see it happen all the time. Our goal at Three Day Startup is to cram three or four months worth of progress in terms of starting your company and moving forward in a weekend. And when we started it, we didn't even really know what we were doing. We actually saw this happen. Now we've gotten a lot better at that model and we make it happen on a regular basis at universities all over the world. All of us who founded Three Day Startup, we'd either founded or worked in startups before. And when I was in grad school at UT, it's where I met the co-founders for Three Day Startup. And we noticed that there was, the students were all facing very, um, these problems related to actually starting companies. Finding co-founders, finding money, finding mentors, and, and being successful at executing, you know, releasing products um, and raising money, that sort of thing. So we wanted to actually solve all those problems at the university level, because we saw a lot of potential there that just wasn't being currently expressed. So we've done over 50 programs all over the world, but we're actually uh, most proud of a lot of our Austin companies, just because that's where we've had the most three-day startup events. Um, Famigo, which is a marketplace for family games, has been really great to see them grow and develop. Um, there's Orduro that does uh, inventory management for e people selling uh, goods online, as well as Hoot.me, and they what they do is turn Facebook into study mode. So these are three of, um, of about 50 companies that have come out of the program that we're really excited to see where they go. I think one of the greatest things about Austin Talent is that you can actually find it. Um, it's around. Austin is a good kind of Goldilocks thing. It's in the middle. It's not too big where you get lost in the, in the churn, but it's not too small that there's not enough volume of talent. Here in Austin, there's lots of people who are really talented. You can find them and you can approach them and work with them. There's not a lot of attitude at all in this town. And so it's really easy to get in contact with the people who are going to become your early employees and then co-founders. I think what's great about the Austin talent pool is that it's real talent. What's funny is some of that talent doesn't actually know it's talent. But one of the differences between Austin and New York and LA is that in LA everyone has you know, a screenplay. Uh, in Austin, everybody has a startup that they're working on. So a lot of them are full-time, a lot of them are part-time. But what I'm continually impressed with is just the depth of talent for these people and the projects they're working on. I graduated in 2000, and I'd heard about Austin for two reasons, uh, for the tech scene and for the music scene. And that's exactly why I moved here, to play in bands and do tech startups. During Three Day Startup, we're entirely focused on execution. So there's no seminars, there's no lectures, um, it's not a conference. It's a bunch of really talented, motivated university students in a room starting a company. The whole thing is a really intense, passionate experience. Um, again, it's not a classroom environment, it's students actually starting these companies. So they drink too much energy drinks and stay up all night. And it, by Sunday, they've got a good lead on actually starting this company. We do a lot of work in universities and a lot of work with these mentors who've started companies and they come back to their alma mater and they see these students and they realize, wait, if I was trying to get into school right now, I probably wouldn't get accepted. I want to feel that way about Austin entrepreneurs. I was able to start a company and we've been pretty successful, but I would like the continued kind of vibrancy and life and talent in this city to keep growing at the pace that it is so that if I were to try to do this again in another 10 or 15 years, it would be a totally different landscape with that many amazing people.